Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth annual Tribute to Champions of Hope. Please welcome Global Gene CEO and founder, Nicole Boyce, to the stage. Welcome, welcome to the fifth annual Tribute to Champions of Hope. I can't believe it's been five years. And many of you be have been here for the last five, so thank you. So we at Global Genes have come to look forward to this week when the rare disease community comes together, our family, our friends, all of our supporters. We come here in unity to learn, to connect, and to be inspired. We've heard over the past few days from many advocates and guests who attended the Rare Patient Advocacy Summit. And what they've said is that their experiences here have been life-changing, that they've been inspired to do more for their loved ones, and that they'll walk away with the tools that they need in their rare disease fight. This is what it's all about. This is the Global Genes mission coming to life. And this is what our entire team worked so hard to accomplish. A special thank you tonight to our small but mighty Global Genes team and our extended team of 20 who miraculously pulls off seven total events in three days. That also includes the two-day conference that broke records this year in person and via live stream with attendance. And all of this would not be possible with all of these amazing teammates, our PR firm ACE, our events team with fresh eyes and all the wonderful people involved. So I just wanna take a moment, please, if you can see them, if the Global Genes team and all of our friends and helpers here could just raise their hands. And of course, none of this would be possible tonight without our sponsors and supporters. This year's platinum sponsors include Horizon Pharma, Alexion, Retrofin, and Walgreens. And also a very, very special thank you to PRA Health Sciences, who've joined us this year as our tribute's title sponsor. An organization who's impressed us with their commitment to patients, their desire to ensure that each and every day, they also work to make a difference. We're honored to be working with them and with all those sponsors that care about Rare and all of those who are working tirelessly to impact all of our friends in the rare disease community. Before I invite our friends from PRA Health Sciences out to help us kick off the event, we have a little special surprise for someone who is everything to me. is because of this little guy who's now actually a big guy that Global Genes exists today. This amazing young man and his parents, Kelly and Daryl, my friends, who many of you know because it's the story of why we're here, they were my catalyst to do something, to try to help, to try to make a difference, not only for them, but for this entire community, is because of this amazing family that I was introduced to the world of Rare, and as a result, we're all here tonight. So I have the honor of introducing you all to my inspiration, Derek Seymour. So Derek, not only are you my inspiration, but today is not only a special night for all of us in the rare disease community, but what day is it today for you? My birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> How old are you today? 18. 18. So we thought, we thought for your 18th birthday that there'd be no better way to celebrate than with 700 people singing happy birthday to you. So if 
you would all join us in singing happy birthday to Derek. Please do so. If you could raise the light so we can see how crazy big this room is. that. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new friend from PRA, PRA Health Sciences, Kent Tolke, for the opening toast. So uh, first of all, I'd like to, of course, um, tell you how incredibly proud PRA Health Sciences is to be the presenting sponsor for this event. <clears throat> Nicole said, hey, just uh, give a toast and speak from your heart. The challenge with that is, after three days here, there's not a lot of room left in my heart for words. It has been an incredibly uh, emotional, thoughtful, stressful, crazy few days. What I know is, uh, in the last 25 years, I've been doing drug development. I have attended hundreds and hundreds of conferences. In my entire career, I have never been impacted at a meeting like I have been impacted the last three days. And that is because of the people in this room. It's the patients, it's the caregivers, it's the advocates, it's the biotech and pharma companies, it's the support services, it's certainly the Global Genes team. That's incredible. That made an, in, uh, an incredible mark on my life. What I know is that the way we change the world and the way we will change rare disease and bring cures and treatments to the millions of patients that are out there is by changing people's perception and changing the way they think about rare disease and helping them make it a focus. I think over the last couple of days what we heard was that a lot of people feel like one voice isn't enough. It's not loud enough. But when you get one voice and one voice and one voice and one voice like we have the last couple of days, when you get lots of voice to voices talking, that's how you make change. It's how we become agents for change. And our commitment to... Uh, Our commitment uh, as a drug development organization to global, change, uh, global genes and the patients in the room and the caregivers and their parents, et cetera, is we have 13,000 employees around the world. And that sphere of influence is huge. It covers financial institutions. It covers researchers. It covers biotech and pharma. It covers patients. And our commitment is to ensure that every day those 13,000 people come to work they remember that there's a rare patient out there and that we have that responsibility to carry that message out into the world to make change for every single rare patient that's in the world as well. And so with that, I'd like to toast the entire room for what you have done for the rare patient community and tell you what an incredible honor it is for me and our company to be a part of this organization. <laughs> 